Hi everyone, and uh, I hope you're enjoying your food, first of all. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Ursula, I work on the Open Access Book Usage Data Trust effort, and wanted to share with you today a little bit about this effort, and of course I'm available for any questions uh, afterwards as well. Um, so the effort's vision is to have a community governed sharing of quality, interoperable, open access book usage data. And the way this is achieved is by exchanging reliable usage data in a trusted, equitable and community governed way. So community is at the core of what we want to do. Um, one other thing that is very important to us is our, our, our community principles. On the slide, you can also see uh, how we involve the community. So our board of trustees is composed of uh, community members from different organizations that take part in our activities. And this is the selection for 2024. Um, and the way the, the effort works is through projects. So each of the projects will have as its aim a certain part of uh, the effort development. One thing that uh, is very important to know about this effort is that we did extensional research to understand uh, the value proposition. So Christina Drummond and Kevin Hawkins created this report that you can see on the screen that you also access on our Zenodo community uh, to understand how different stakeholders see open access book usage data and what is the value of having a better access to an aggregated curated uh, way. And this also surfaced that many organizations, big or small, use resources to um, aggregate, curate, and benchmark this data. And um, some of them don't even have resources to be counter compliant. So while counter does indeed answer some of the uh, some of this challenge, it is not maybe achievable some, some, for some smaller organizations or organizations that don't have enough staff uh, or anything like that. And in they, those cases, they use web analytics or any other data they can find online that's openly available, and that, that creates problems with interoperability and standardization. So if you're interested, you can uh, read the entire report uh, openly. And what we found out is that stakeholders think that having a data trust that would facilitate this type of exchange and data aggregation and creation would help um, diminish the, the resources used and time consumed to have that done by the organizations, as well as it would enable benchmarking, which is quite important for the organizations as well. Um, the way it wants to do it is by using an international data uh, space model. This model has been developed in Europe, in the Netherlands, by the International Data Space Association. And it's commonly used in other industries. So, for example, the very famous and currently maybe you heard about it is the Catena X data space, which is for the automobile industry. And the nutshell uh, model is that it allows for a neutral uh, to be a neutral intermediary for public and private exchange of usage data. In our case, we are focusing on open access book usage. However, it can be other type of data as well. And it works with uh, guidances and controls to make sure that there are no unethical uh, behavior with the data. So you will have uh, technical controls, community principles, participation terms that all help those organizations from the public and private sector to work together with this, within this uh, environment. And one very important thing that makes it different from other initiatives is it doesn't hold the data. So this exchange happens as a neutral intermediary without creating a copy of it, without holding it anywhere, without creating a repository or anything like that. So it's quite revolutionary in that way. So if you want to find out more, you can actually collaborate with us as a community because we do uh, create our work and develop our work based on what we hear from the community. So you can uh, provide your input on a current community consultation that's open as a web form. And you can also join our focus group on membership and sustainability models that we have online. If you don't get the chance to scan these QR codes, please do find me. I'm happy to help you with them. Um, and share some more details as well. Thank you.